it's one and all hello welcome back to a mercy channel i told you i'd be vlogging again today but i'm a little bit on the tired side now we've actually made between us we're actually now on our fourth vlog today so yeah it's getting a bit tiring now it's been actually a long day so what's for tea so <laughs> We're actually trying to clear out the fridge again because we're off. Tomorrow's our full day. Oh, honey! Hold on. Honey! What? Forgot about these sausages. Do you want them in the freezer? Too lots, yeah. What am I having tomorrow? Sausage sandwich by the look of it then. Shall I keep one pack out? Okay, so Dan's actually got two packs of sausages that I don't want to waste. Um, yeah, all he's having tonight though is his a cottage pie. <laughs> it's massive, isn't it? But if there's a little bit left over, I will be sure to have a little bit. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So let's get this in the oven. It's just a quick oven job today. I've still actually got a little bit of leftover chicken from the um, rotisserie one I got the other day. I actually sliced it up yesterday, took it all off the carcass, so to say. So I think I'm going to have that in a wrap, which I can prepare, which will be really handy. Right, let's get that in the oven. It's too big to go in the air fryer, unfortunately, which would have been handy safe on gas because we're unsure now to how much gas we got left which reminds me we actually need to go and buy a can um right so that's a light right so yeah then we'll probably have that brown sauce and bread what am i having then yeah so this is the leftover chicken i'm not wasting this look all this chicken <laughs> tell you what we both had this last night actually it was really yummy and there's actually two little legs left as well. So I can turn that into a wrap. Have I got some wraps? Oh, chef's privilege. I don't actually know if I've got a wrap. Could have sworn I bought some wraps. Let me just check. Right, I've just found an open pack of wraps, which they're the ones I was trying to find. But <laughs> in the process, I actually found another pack of open wraps that had gotten hidden and they are manky. Look at that look. It is so disgusting. Thank God I found them now anyway. Right, I'm gonna go and wash my hands and then make my wrap. Yeah, so we're kind of limited. Um, again, because we just, we didn't buy a lot from supermarket because we knew that we were only here for another day or two, so. Let's get a wrap out now. These are the good ones. <laughs> Let me bring you down. So, I haven't actually got a lot of mayonnaise left. That as well makes me wanna cry. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some mayonnaise on that. Love each corner. Now I like my mayonnaise. Right, some let's so this is actually gonna be quite boring. No matter how much I've dived into this, I had a massive amount last night, it just isn't going down. <laughs> so <laughs> it is what it is. But I got me money's worth, definitely got me money's worth. Can't see it lasting much, much longer. Yep, so it looks like sausage sandwiches tomorrow then, doesn't it? I think this is going to be too much chicken for me. Unless I've made a separate wrap for Dan. Oh, I don't know. He wastes food a lot, and if he doesn't eat it, I'll be well upset. Yeah, I think that's plenty for me. I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to try and squeeze that leftover in. Could try and make a second one i suppose oh that's not looking good is it let's get rid of you 
fold that little bit up because it makes a little pocket. <laughs> and that's quite a big wrap. <laughs> there we go. So I could try and make a second one, I suppose. Because they're getting wrapped in foil anyway. And if they're getting wrapped in foil, let me just get the foil out. Oh, I just remembered I'm really low on foil as well, actually. So I might have to wrap the two together. Save on foil. No mayonnaise. No, nothing. We're really low on shopping because we've just been trying to watch what we buy quite recently. Because we keep going away. Get out! I'll scrape that out. Right, some more lettuce. Got yeah, got my coat on today. It's absolutely freezing. Yeah, done quite a lot today. Reviewed a Hoover, made a vlog. I've made a vlog. <clears throat> So I did cut the chicken legs off that. Might nibble on them later. £6.50 for a rotisserie chicken. Do you know what I might do actually? Just cut the chicken off it. Yeah, £6.50. I always remember them being £4.50 if I remember rightly. About £4.50 going to cut the chicken off one of these legs. Don't want bony, gristly bits though. Ugh. See, there's some nice bits in there. You know what I'm going to do with this? Actually, I'll give Dan the other leg. He's trying to catch a mouse. Honey, what? do you want some chicken for the mice? No. I've got a chicken leg. No. You don't. He's trying to catch them humanely so we can uh, put, them, put them back where they belong. <laughs> and it's not on our pitch. <laughs> oh, that's massive. That's a massive wrap. Well, if not, I could probably have that tomorrow. So I haven't technically started my healthy eating yet oh, and I still won't be because I'm going to be having a Chinese any day soon so and then once we get back from going away just wrap those up look at that that's a massive meal now <laughs> once we get back then we can do a proper shop because then we know we're not going anywhere not yet anyway we have actually got more plans coming up soon it's more at the end of october right so that can go in the fridge and dan's dinner's on right so i've just got to tidy up and i've got a spare chicken leg so at this point i just want to say a massive thank you to deborah for your donation i absolutely appreciate that thank you so much i'm not going to say your second name um, and all, also another little mention I'd like to say to Nicole Lloyd and I want to send my love and if we all can send our love to her two year old boy Charlie hello Charlie hope you're doing well he's not very well and um, so sending all of my love Charlie hope you're okay I know you're only little bless you and sending my love to your mum also obviously you're going through a lot and on one of my recent videos I was saying how each day is precious I mean somebody like Nicole now can literally understand what I'm trying to say each day is precious so we can all send our love to little Charlie he's only two and he's not very well bless him so send him my love so it is the next day good morning to one and all look how gorgeous today is weren't expecting this this morning Dan's gone off to um, 
Oh yeah, we had some gusts last night. It's probably why these guy ropes have come off. Yeah, apparently even my chair inside had um, fell over. I've got new slippers on today. I don't really want them to get wet on the grass. <laughs> yeah, it's a gorgeous day today. Yesterday wasn't so good. It was awful, if I'll be quite honest. Um, yeah, so what's today? Well, first off, I've got to pack try and finish off packing this hoover because this will be coming with me this will be going to my beautiful lovely niece uh not not angel another niece so that's all charged ready for her to go as well now so i can just get that packed in there that'll be all right put some tape on that so it's going to a good home I said the other day, I think she goes to college, but actually I think she goes to university. I'm not sure. I know she did. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what's on the agenda today. Finchley, finally, I think this is almost dry. But because it's fell on the ground twice, I'm actually going to be taking this with me to give it a wash. Because I'm not putting that on my bed once it's fell on the floor a few times. No. <sighs> Yeah, so Dan's got Dad take the mice down today. He got two mice. How exciting is that? Right, let me get some tape on this. And what else do I need to do? I'll tell you what I have done this morning. I've ordered some a vacuum bag somebody suggested for when my clothes are in storage. A storage. So thank you for that tip. Um, it would have taken me quite some time to have realised, oh, I should have got some of them. So I got some of them on order. Eight big jumbo ones should be enough. I've got to still go and buy some tubs. Um, I don't really know how many tubs I'm going to need. I don't even know where I'm going to put it all. All right, it's that time of day. So we've both been a little busy bee today. I've made a video. We've both done a travel trolley video. I call it travel trolley because that's what my dad calls us, the travel trolleys. <laughs> and Dan now is actually going out to do a trail cam down one, bless him. So it's come to that time of the day. We're both getting a little bit peckish, but we're worrying about food. So there is gonna be one night we're gonna have a Chinese, but it won't be tomorrow. It probably be the night after. So, and we don't really have a lot of food. We have two packs of sausages. Um, so what I said to Dan is I'll cook one pack today, keep one pack tomorrow, and then um, we've got sausage sandwiches again tomorrow, and then all that's in the freezer. Six. See, there's there's six in here, and he's already had a couple. He said, "Well, I've got hamages in the freezer, like as if like it's going to make a meal." Well, it's not. Um, Right, let me just go and ask Dan what sausage is. Honey, so you've got four hamages, you've got six thick Lincolnshire sausages, or 12 chipolatas. It's entirely up to you. Which one should we make? you're having some, so it's up to you, because I know you like Lincolnshire, and I aren't bothered. Yeah, but it's trying to make the most out of today, isn't it? Well, why don't we do some of each? You've got four hamages. How about we do that and hamages, and just have sausage sandwiches tomorrow? Why don't you do some of each and put the rest all together in one pack and cellophane it up? Could do that. Right. <laughs> so today, did you want hamages then? Oh yeah. You do? Hmm. Right, just got the air fryer in. So I'm going to cook them in the air fryer today. I've been using the oven quite a bit a lot lately. And we really don't know how much gas we've got left, so. Right. Anyway, I like sausages done in the air fryer. I don't think doing a mixture of both is a good idea. Because then you're opening two packs, aren't you? Sausage sandwich is just a sausage sandwich, isn't it? Let's do the fat ones today and hamages. And then sausage sandwich with 12 of them tomorrow. Because <laughs> the next day we're gonna... Sorry, not the next day, the day after we definitely will be having a, a Chinese. Right, let's get these in the air fryer. So it's turning into a bit of a foodie vlog today, isn't it? Well, just is what it is sometimes. I'm going to stick them back in the freezer until I'm ready for them. 
They've got a funny colour to them. And the date is... What is the date? 30th of September. Yeah, they smell fine. I just don't like the colour of them. And it, it is enough to kind of put me off. But I'm sure they'll taste nice. <laughs> Can't be fussy. Ain't got a lot of food in the house today. Right, so that's six of them. There we go. Air fryer does make a good sausages. So I'm going to get them on a low. I'm not going to rush it, so to say. Because we're still trying to make... Dan's trying to make a trail cam video now. Just get them on a low. Right, so what's next? Oh! Well, I've just gone to grab my phone. Uh, Dan's now filming. I've got this on a low heat. Right, so just a couple of things I want to run by. Uh, just literally just now got a, a comment from the lovely Rachel. I know it's Rachel, although it's not even popped up yet. Oh, there we go. Because I recognise your beautiful face from a mile away. Yes, Rachel. Um, Rachel, I never know how to say your... Rachel's... You know who you are anyway. Just literally just got the comment. Mazzy, come sort out my clothes out. Uh, Mazzy, come sort my clothes out. Got too much. <laughs> yeah, somebody had also said, where did you get all these clothes? They just accumulate, you know? When you stop buying from charity shops and Tesco's and places like that, they accumulate. But, <clears throat> now you've got to remember, right? It's like everybody has two wardrobes, right? They have a winter wardrobe and they have a summer wardrobe. So, and I don't waste clothes, you know? I either buy second hands or I give them to, back to the charity anyway. But I do have a lot of clothes, I know that, but they're clothes I've literally had for years and years and years and years. Some of them are, you know, now that you know we're making a few quid on YouTube and stuff like that, you know, I'm able to buy the odd little thing. So some of them are, you know, sort of new into making its way into the wardrobe. But then again, saying that, a lot of those, uh, like the sheen clothes I bought this year, has gone into the bags for the charity. Saying that, I've got a jumper on the way from Amazon. Let me just check it. Oh, what time is that coming? Let me just check what time my Amazon is coming. I, yeah, I bought a new jumper because I'd given so many away. <gasps> Somebody had said, I figured, oh, I know who you are. Oh, I can't remember your name. Sorry, my lovely. Sha, Sha, sh is it Shaz? Let me just go and check. Let me go, I think it's Shaz. Um, I have to just go and check. She said to me, basically, anyway, I could dye my clothes brown. But, you know, where could I die? Where? I don't have a bathtub or anything like that. But, yes, Shans. There you go. You're so beautiful, Lizelle. So, thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah, she says, Hi, sweet Mazzy. Lovely jumpers. You can always colour them. Neon ones are brown with a good quality clothes dye that, you want, that won't run. See, that's all, always what I'm scared of as well like it running and stuff like that but surely you need a big bucket as well I it's too much kerfuffle in it i did actually go on amazon last night searching for the same jumper but in brown couldn't find it so i've got something else coming today I'm talking a lot you know i all right let me just see where my amazon order is coming uh it's between well it's between now and then <laughs> come on signals are no, so it's not being delivered. But I had a lovely email the other day. And believe it or not, and I'm really, really sorry, I only actually found it this morning. But, so it's it's from Neville. So thank you so much, Neville. I don't really want to go into too much of who you are, what your name is, and what you've said and stuff like that. But it was for the two of us. And uh, I think they're new subscribers and bless them they came from butler's empire so thank you so much and bless them they sent over a donation as well via paypal so i really 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 appreciate that that you know it all helps out i really do appreciate it um she also was saying um she has same 
conditions. Some, some I don't want to go into too much. It's personal, isn't it? Um, it's the same condition that, that I have as well. So bless you, my lovely. But it's really nice to hear somebody else having that same sort of story. You know, it's it's rare. It is rare. I've never heard of somebody having that story, and your story seems to be almost the same as mine. So you'll know what I mean, you'll know what I mean. I don't really want to go into it, but thank you so much, Neville. I do appreciate it. And uh, oh, well, Sue and Nev, Sue and Nev. So thank you so much, and thank you so much also for the uh, PayPal donation. Much appreciated. So, talking about donations, I'm going to be sorting all my um. <laughs> Timu stuff out soon but I dragged this out yesterday because I remember somebody saying to me we'll mix it with your own one basically this is one I bought off Amazon just to try the infillable but I didn't get the number correct uh, it's way too dark so somebody was saying mix it with your original one so I thought you know what you know I'm coming to the end of my one I'm going to do that and I used it and it was it's just still way too dark so unfortunately that's a whole tub of infillable that can I stick that in the charity bag I, I don't know anyone that would wear that color it just seems such a shame just to literally pick that up and put it in the bin doesn't it um, let's talk about these as well this book I brought from a, uh, a little antique shop quite recently with um, JP and the lovely Sammy and I've had my look at this now and I've really enjoyed looking at it so what I'm going to do is take that away now and pass it on and see if somebody else would just be interested to have a look at the pictures and also this book here as well I've kept hold of this for since Spain basically we met this wonderful couple such a lovely lovely couple and she gave me this book and now I don't read but when she told me the storyline of this I thought to myself I, I will go out my way to read this this just sounds really nice it's about an Irish girl or something like that some and it just sounded really nice so I haven't gotten to read it unfortunately but rather than throwing it in the bin I'm actually going to pass that on as well to somebody that I know does read and will actually really really enjoy that right so while we're here as well we picked up some photos so we got our photos done in um, let me just turn you around so we got some photos done professionally in um, Tunisia now a lot of them I weren't keen on uh, they were making us do like some strange moves you know bend like this do that do this and to get on top of him like that and you know there were moves <laughs> I just don't do you know I've never done things like that before you know posing and like the selfie look and stuff so anyway a lot of them I weren't keen on but also that the colors wasn't that great so Dan what he did with not all of them uh, this ain't all of them but what he did is sent a majority over to JP the lovely JP thank you the ones we wanted to print off and JP actually rectified the colour because when we got them they were really orange the colours wasn't right at all so the ones we actually wanted to print off is um, yeah these so we actually got these and we got one blown up specially for Dan's mum for her birthday which I shoe in a video the other day and that came out beautiful now the thing is right when we ordered these which is really weird look got two of them got two of them it and bear in mind now dan's mum's kept one of each as well so i don't know what happened there we've paid over the top to get all these kind of printed weirdly over printed but i'll just flick through them this is the one dan's mum's got um blown up in her house and it's gorgeous i love that one that's not a silly one <laughs> we still got the ones of us on the on the horse and stuff like that mm, that was a bit of a silly one I weren't keen on that one but it looks nice I suppose Dan looks handsome look how handsome he looks sorry I'm all over the place with him in I <laughs> yeah and JP also turned a lot of these to black and white for me as well I'm sure he did because 
Or did we pick that when we did the photos? I can't remember if we picked that once we'd done the photos. I can't, I can't remember, but JP basically rectified that. I mean, look how many of them now we've got. So if something went wrong with our order. Now, this was one of the positions that I felt really uncomfortable. Dan felt uncomfortable. And it just isn't, I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about what we, you know, in personal space, but that's just, it just sent weird. It just sent really weird. So anyway, we've got some lovely little photos. I'm planning on maybe doing a something with it. I did like that one, I, although it seems quite boring. I thought that one was quite cute. See, another one of those, look. <laughs> yeah, that one seems a bit darker. See, look how many we've got. Of me, look. Four of me there. <laughs> it's all about me, isn't it? <laughs> yes, I hope you enjoyed those few little pictures there. All right, let's just go and check on me sausages. So Neil's out there cutting bushes. He's been at it all the morning. Bless him, he's actually done a really good job. Uh, I don't know where Dan is, because he was out there talking to him. Uh, little update. I don't even think we mentioned it on Travel Trolley Channel. We've actually just now paid our insurance. <laughs> so we feel safe. We feel safe in here for another full year. It's full cover insurance. It's living insurance where there's only one company that does it where you can technically live in your van and it's comfort insurance. And it costs 1,400 quid. 1,400 quid. It's a lot of money. And you have to pay it upright, up front there's no installments on it you have to literally pay up front which we did last year and again now this year but it is a lot of money well they're not even doing much at the moment are they so i'll just give them a turn anyway i've got them on low yeah so we we, we feel safe anyway if that makes sense <laughs> and also our car tax is paid for as well so that's all good and F so everything's going good I'm right, gonna leave that I'm gonna leave that it's only on a hundred I'm trying to do it on a low low yes so I did actually order some eight um, this quilt covers drive me mad it's only just dried I've only just now taken it in from three days ago me wash trying to wash it that was another story so I'm actually taking that away with me to get rewashed. But yeah, I just ordered eight vacuum bags so I can then get all my clothes in that. Because I've got one there and one there. But I also always like one for the fresh bedding. And not only that, I've got I've still got more to come. So <laughs> you'll know what I mean in a few days. <laughs> I've got an awful lot of stuff that I've got to drag here. Oh, yeah, we've got Neil up here. Look, really look how low he's gone. Look, he's going to struggle. He's doing a really, really good job. Now. That, that one was thick, now it gets really thick. Yeah, the stumps of well, that stump's thick, isn't it? I'm on I'll give you a week. I'm on a mission. I'm going to struggle, and it's not a mission from God. <laughs> right, do you want to put my washing in the line away, darling? Filming. Yeah, no. Why not? I just don't want to. Right, okay, just put the uh, air fryer back on again for another few minutes. But it's making me think. So I forgot I'd had these. Oh, I've got a spider on my head. Oh, talking of spiders. I had, I read all your stories, spiders down your bras and all sorts. <laughs> How freaky is that? So this, yeah, this boot needs sorting out. But this is for the charity hall as well. I haven't even opened these jumpers, these three. Oh, that's where the spare bag is. Brilliant. I knew I'd put a spare vacuum bag somewhere. So I don't think that's brand new. I might have actually worn that one, but that's brand new. That's still in the bag. I think I wore that once. I don't, I, I, did I? I don't even know if I did. And that's brand new. So that's got to go to charity. Um. So where, do you want, where should I put all my charity stuff, honey? Because he hasn't cleaned the boot out yet. I'm guessing it needs to go into the awning. Let's take it all. To, do you want it all in the awning? Well, I want to drop it off 
from his travels, hopefully. Yeah, but where do you want it now? All together. There we go then. All together. What is it? What is in the boot? He keeps saying the boot's empty. How can you tell me that that's empty? It's not empty. Right, okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was quite a long one today, wasn't it? Right, so don't forget we're going away tomorrow and when we get back, I've got an awful lot to sort out. If you think I've had a lot to sort out up until now, I've got a lot to sort out coming up. Right, love you lots. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye.